our all new six plant system, this video will teach you how to properly set up and run your Sun speaker. Please watch the additional videos for full in-depth information regarding all aspects of your system. Your shipment will arrive on a pallet and be wrapped in black stretch film. Detach the system from your pallet and move it to your setup location. Once you unpack your palletized shipment, make sure all items listed on the packing list are included. If any item is missing, make sure it's not marked as back ordered. If it is, we'll get that item to you ASAP. Your lighting system and your sun speaker should be pre-hung, but if you need to change out the light bulb, simply unscrew the glass reflector placement tabs and unscrew the installed light bulb. The door of your sun speaker makes a tight lightproof seal with specially designed door hinges that can allow the door to be removed by simply pulling up on the far side of the hinge. To reattach the door, simply press the door portion of the hinge directly onto the base and it should snap into place. To set up your hydro system, take the tube attached to your air stone and plug it into your air pump, which should be hung from the S-hook on the inside wall of your system. Next, fill each of the two net pots with the included red clay pellets and insert an organic starter plug if starting from seeds. Make sure the reservoir is filled to the top, especially when starting from seeds, to maintain proper moisture levels on the starter cubes. The cubes should be wicking up moisture during the entire germination phase. If not, then place your growth cubes deeper into the net pots. Your water level indicator should be showing maximum during the initial germination stage and can be brought down to ideal once your plants take root. Now that your reservoir is set up, plug in your power strip and any other remaining male power cords. When you start the flowering phase, which we'll touch base on in the weekly checklist, you'll need to plug the white power cord from your ballast into your light timer. Your temperature and humidity gauges are very easy to set up. Simply place the remote sensor within your grow box near your plant growing tips. Follow the written directions for a detailed description of your interface options. Some key notes though, your internal temperature should be between 75 and 87 Fahrenheit. If you start to go over 95 Fahrenheit, you'll start to damage your plants, and if you're below 75 degrees, you'll significantly slow your plant's growth. Humidity is not a very important factor. However, in the earlier plant stages, you want higher humidity, example being above 40%, whereas during flowering, you want lower humidity, below 40%. If you wish to make your sun speaker appear more stealthy, you can use the included internal radio with speaker by placing it anywhere within your unit. Your main tool to determine just how much nutrients to use is your TDS meter. This device lets you know how high the nutrient level is in your reservoir. It measures nutrient levels in PPMs or parts per million. To begin, check the PPM of your water. Purified water is best, and if you're using purified water, your starting PPM should be less than 20. If you're using tap water, the PPM must be below 250 or your water is too polluted to use on plants. If your tap water is not very clean, you may order one of our reverse osmosis water filters to clean out the plant toxins normally in tap water, such as chlorine and fluoride. This kit includes pH up, down, and a pH testing kit. The testing kit is similar to that of pool water. You want your water's pH to be between 6 and 7. If the pH is too high, example 8.5, you need to add pH down to reduce it. If it's too low, an example 4, then you need to add pH up to raise it. You should check your pH once every couple of days. A good sign of plant growth is that they will reduce the pH of the water and make it more acidic. Generally, you'll be using more pH up than down. If you let your pH get too extreme, then it will most assuredly result in plant sickness and death. Be sure to keep an eye on your overall water levels because when water evaporates, it can concentrate nutrients and throw the pH in your reservoir off much faster than if the same water level is maintained. Let's run through your expected results from your first week. From seeds to three inches tall, you should add only one quarter teaspoon of Floronova grow to your reservoir. You don't need to worry about your pH or nutrient levels much right now if you start with reasonably good water. You should also add one eighth teaspoon of Floralicious Plus vitamin mix to the reservoir. At the end of week one, if you have good seeds, you should see plants between one and four inches tall. Make sure your air stones are bubbling in the water as well. During week two, you'll notice an incredibly rapid increase in plant growth. They will grow from two to eight inches tall during this week. The most important thing to do during this week is switch to the flowering stage once your plants hit roughly eight inches tall. First, once they hit eight inches tall, empty out your reservoir and add fresh water. You also switch from Floronova Grow to Bloom and keep the nutrient levels at 400 to 600 ppm. 
Now change your light cycle from 24 hours of light to 12 hours of light and 12 hours of darkness using the lighting timer. You can add one quarter teaspoon of Bushmaster Vertical Growth Inhibitor to the reservoir and spray the leaves with spray and grow for optimal results. Finally, after adding nutrients, be sure to check the pH is around 6.5. If it's too low, add pH up until it reaches the 6 to 7 pH zone and likewise for pH down. Week 3 should be when you start to determine your plant sex. To determine your nutrient levels, add Floronova Bloom until you reach 800 to 1000 ppm. During week 3, you will be mainly looking to weed out males and optimize flowering in females. During this week, you can add 1 8 teaspoon of Cool Bloom to your reservoir for an added flowering boost. Continue to spray with Spray and Grow for best results. Watch the gender identification video to learn how to sex your plants properly. If you start to notice odors, feel free to use the Ona Odor Gel Block, which should effectively eliminate odors in your sun speaker system. This should be your final week of all has gone well today. For this last week, you'll be cutting your nutrients down to 300 to 500 ppm. This reduction in nutrients helps stress the plant enough to put all its energy into its remaining flowers. If your plants are fruit producing, feel free to pick fruit during the entire cycle. If you're growing plants such as basil and wish to dry it, simply cut the base of the plant stem near the base of the net pot and hang it from the top of your unit. Then run all your cooling fans and use your own odor gel. Your plants should be cracker dry within 48 hours if your room humidity is below 30%. Now that you've successfully gotten your cycle done, you can wash your system down and start all over. If your plants are bulging out when you open the doors, do not be concerned. Simply push them back into the unit gently. Do not trim them except as an absolute last resort. Don't be concerned about high power bills as this unit runs less power than a standard light bulb. Make sure to give your system a full 10 minutes to fire up properly so your bulb comes to full spectrum. If you need to change out your water, you can use a small cup to scoop out the water, use a water pump, or siphon into an adjacent container with any plastic tube.